here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of fourier integral welcome to video number 3 and in this video we are going to solve second problem on the topic that is fourier integral okay so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of fourier integral with your friends if you are doing this you are helping me okay so let us start with the problem that is question number 2 on the topic that is fourier integral very 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 important problem okay the question says find the fourier integral representation of the, of the function okay we need to find the fourier integral representation of the function that is f of x okay here function is minus of e to power ax when the limit of x is less than when x is less than 0 and f of x becomes e to power minus ax okay e to power minus ax when x is greater than 0 okay when x is less, less than 0 in that case function f of x is minus of e to power ax and when x is greater than 0 in that case function f of x is e to power minus ax okay now simply put x equals to minus x okay first of all we need to find we need to see whether the function f of x is even function or odd function or neither nor case okay if the function is even function then we need to apply Fourier cosine integral if the function f of x is in uh, odd function in that case we need to apply Fourier sine integral and let's say the, uh, the function is neither even nor odd function in that case we will apply Fourier integral formula okay so put x equals to minus x okay it means we are finding f of minus x okay so on putting uh, x equals to minus x this will become okay this will become negative as it is and this will become negative okay that is e to the power minus ax okay e to the power minus ax simply putting x equals to minus x so this will become negative okay that is minus of e to the power minus ax when okay again here yes x is minus x less than 0 okay and coming to this second part that is on putting x equals to minus x this will become e to the power plus ax okay and here it will become minus of x greater than 0 okay now this part is as it is that is minus of e to the power minus ax and here we have e to the power ax but here if you multiply negative both side you will get this as positive this will become 0 as it is and the sign will change okay here again if you multiply negative both side this will become positive this will become as it is 0 and the sign will change okay now if you see this and this okay yes on putting x equals to minus x what is f of minus x that is this part and this is my f of x okay if you compare both okay when x is less than 0 when x is less than 0 in that case here we have e to the power ax and here we have minus of e to the power ax okay but when x is more than 0 here we have okay here we have x is more than 0 here we have e to the power minus ax but here we have minus of e to the power minus ax so it is clearly visible that on putting x equals to minus x f of minus x becomes minus of f of x okay this is clearly visible so we can say the given function f of x is an odd function okay and the function is since the function is an odd function so we are going to apply Fourier sine integral okay okay so we are going to apply Fourier sine integral for f of x okay so f of x will become 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x integration 0 to infinity f of t sin lambda t dt d lambda okay now f of t when the limit is from 0 to lambda so it's 0 to infinity when the limit is from 0 to infinity in that case you can see okay what is function okay yes when the limit is from 0 to lambda okay so, sorry 0 to infinity in that case here you can see when the value of x is more than 0 okay in that case the function is e to the power minus ax okay but here the function is in terms of the variable is t okay so we are going to put e to the power minus at okay not e to the power minus ax okay in place of e to the power minus ax we are we are going to put e to the power minus at because here the variable is t okay since the limit is from 0 to infinity okay and here you can see the value of x is more than 0 so we are going to put take this function okay and simply changing the variable from x to t so this is going to be integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus at sin lambda t dt d lambda okay now here we can see here we have exponential as well as sine part okay so here we are going to use this formula that is integration e to the power at sin bt dt 
and this equals to e to the power at upon a square plus b square a sin bt minus b cos bt okay integration e to the power at sin bt dt equals to e to the power at upon a square plus b square okay here we have a sin bt minus b cos bt okay simply use this formula here and if you compare this with this you will see that is value of a is minus a and value of b is how much lambda okay so this f of x will become here that is 2 upon pi integration 0 to lambda sorry 0 to infinity sin lambda x okay now coming to this part okay we are going to use this formula e to the power minus a t upon a square plus lambda square here we have minus a sin lambda t minus lambda cos lambda t okay and the limit is from again 0 to infinity now write d lambda okay don't forget to write this d lambda here now simply put limits okay if you put limits this is as it is at 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x okay if you put upper limit here that is e to power minus infinity we are putting upper limit lambda uh, infinity and lower limit 0 in place of t okay so if you put upper limit here this will become e to power minus infinity and we know that e to power minus infinity is how much zero okay so zero into anything will become zero so on putting lambda sorry on putting infinity that is upper limit here this whole term will become zero okay so zero minus lower limit simply put lower limit zero in place of t this will become e to power zero that is one one upon a square plus lambda square okay this part is as it is now simply put t equal to zero here this sin 0 will become 0. Okay, sin 0 value is how much? 0. So, this term will become 0. Now, coming to this part, that is minus lambda. And what is cos 0? That is 1. So, this is going to be minus lambda. Okay. Again, don't forget to write d lambda here. Okay. So, what we are getting, that is f of x equals to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity. Okay. Sin lambda x. Okay. If you multiply negative, negative, this will become positive lambda upon a square plus lambda square okay and this is d lambda here now this part okay this part will become simply take this 2 upon pi to the left hand side so integration 0 to infinity sin lambda x into lambda upon a square plus lambda square d lambda becomes f of x into pi upon 2 okay pi upon 2 into f of x now what is f of x let us see Yes, here we have f of x that is e to the power minus okay so the minus of e to the power ax when x is more than less than zero and f of x is e to the power minus of ax when x is more than zero okay so simply multiply since we have pi by 2 into f of x it means we need to multiply pi by 2 with function f of x so here we have okay here we have pi by 2 into minus of e to the power ax when x is less than 0 and pi by 2 into e to the power minus of ax okay when x is greater than 0 okay so on taking this negative sign here we will get minus of pi by 2 into e to the power ax when x is less than 0 and this becomes pi upon 2 e to the power minus ax when x is greater than 0 and this is my final answer okay thank you thank you so much